One more. Step right up here. Only one more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, what are we going to do with you? At his seminars, Dr. Deming illustrates his ideas on management with an elaborate charade called the Red Bead Experiment. Don't get close to willing workers. Deming plays the crusty old manager of an imaginary factory. Which one of you is average? <laughs> From the audience, he recruits six average. willing workers and three quality Good inspectors. Worker. He sets them to work. The material comes in in a vessel. Unfortunately, this incoming material has some red beads in it. Your job is to make white beads. Are you clear? The joke is at the expense of management. Deming shows how willing workers can never make quality goods, in this case white beads, in a bad system. Quality inspectors make no difference. As long as there are red beads in the box, the workers will fail. Return the beads, same motions. Now he takes the paddle in the beads, not on the beads. The paddle is a wooden block with 50 holes drilled in it. The trick is to fill all the holes with white beads only. I work to inspector number one. On his first day on the production line, Johnny's work is only contaminated with five red beads. He's easily beaten his co-workers. Now Deming shows how bad management can be fooled by figures. Johnny, our best worker, gets a merit increase in pay. No question about it. The absurd fallacy carries on to the second day of production. Johnny, on the merit increase in pay, our best worker, no question about it. <coughs> Carries the work to inspector number one. Nine. Smith. Oh. The rays went to his head. <laughs> Got careless. This is what Deming means by understanding the causes of variation. Western management, he says, has failed to grasp cause and effect. 